there. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use Coral Painter and Wacom Touch uh, with the Wacom Inches Pro tablet or anything about that. So basically, what is a Wacom? If you haven't seen it yet, you probably going to has you have probably seen this picture somewhere on the internet when you're looking for a drawing tablet. I can highly recommend anything that's from Wacom. Traditionally, very sturdy, very fantastic uh, products. Um, Inches 4 was a little bit floppy, uh, to be honest, but, but with the Inches Pro, uh, which is kind of version 5, they became more sturdy again. So, uh, what is touch? Well, you have all these buttons here, and uh, when you plug it into your computer, you're going to see uh, a few annoying uh, things coming in. For example, if I press something here, you're going to see these kind of stuff coming in too. And sometimes when you're sitting and drawing, depending on the size of your tablet, you're going to see them uh, coming in uh, uh, a little bit uh, too much sometimes. So that's annoying. But if you don't care so much about that and just see what is the touch. The touch is using your thumb, using your pointer finger, and when you use this in combination with such a great program like Coral Painter, for example, you just put those that thumb and point finger on the tablet, uh, drawing tablet, drawing surface, and if I was able to turn my hand and my fingers 360 degrees, 60 degrees, I would be able to show you that in one go, but now I have to pause and then grab a little one, one t more time because I can't twist and turn in 360 degrees myself, but the program can, so this is basically what, what the touch offer us as illustrators and designers and that's wonderful of course. If you zoom in here for example, if I zoom in, you see that I'm working on some of the outlines here and I'm going to continue working here and when you do that, especially when you're turning or um, uh, make a, a curved outline like this, it's really really good when you can just put your hands and then you can just um, uh, do like this. Of course, in Paint, you can always go up here to the Navigator and do that as well. And that's nifty, uh, and that's really good if you don't have a drawing tablet. But if you have a drawing tablet from Wacom, then just do like this, and you listen to some cool music, and you're going to love it. It's really, really, really good. Okay? And this drawing is, by the way, a drawing that I'm doing for my second coloring book that I'm uh, self-publishing. Um, instead of working with my regular book publishing companies, I'm doing my coloring books solely as my own fun projects. So you can find that on Amazon. This is from my second coloring book that's coming soon. Okay? So you have fun out there, and you're going to love this feature. Okay? Bye.